Coronavirus be damned. President Trump has had enough of quarantining in the White House and is back doing his signature rallies, even though he was diagnosed with the virus less than two weeks ago. At an airplane hangar last night in Sanford, Florida, the president continued to downplay a public health crisis that has killed about 215,000 people in the U.S. I went through it. Now they say I'm immune. I can feel, I feel so powerful. I'll walk into that order. People were hardly concerned the president was hosting another possible super spreader event. This is the first rally that President Trump has had since he got coronavirus. Are you concerned that he's maybe back out on the campaign trail too soon? No, I mean, the doctors cleared him, um, and honestly, Trump said he was feeling fine, and the doctors were saying he was feeling absolutely great, no symptoms for days now. I mean, I don't have the exact number, but I know yeah. it, was, it was in the multiple, multitude of days. Um, I'm not scared. He's going to be hundreds of feet away. I mean, I'd love to be right next to him. Uh, that'd be great, but I, we didn't get here early enough. But I'm going to be hundreds <laughs> of feet away from him, yeah. um, so I have no concerns whatsoever. Do you have any concerns about yourselves attending an event like this? I don't know. We take care of ourselves pretty good. Yeah. We take vitamins, we take things that, that are helpful, and we know that uh, the coronavirus has no place in us, no power in us. There's a lot of people here. Are you worried about your health, about your health, with being around so many people? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Little bit. We've got our masks, and yeah. when we're close, we'll... I just, I had cancer surgery in the spring, so... Oh, yeah, I'm lung cancer, so... A little so. concern, so... Okay. But I think I'll be okay. We've lost a lot of Americans to this coronavirus pandemic. Do you think that the president has any blame to share for that? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. We just got to get the, um, the vaccine out there. You know, um, um, unfortunately, we have lost some people. I don't believe all the statistics that are out there. Do you think it helps him politically that he got coronavirus? In a way, it was a good thing because now he can speak about the coronavirus from his knowledge. Mm -hmm. He went through it. He know what he has gone through and, and he can speak. Nobody can, can say anything about his opinion. It's, he has been validated and, and it has a lot of value now. It's great to be back in my home state, Florida, to make my official return to the campaign trail. Trump won here in 2016 by a hair. Now he's losing to Joe Biden in the latest Florida polling by four to five points. Data points of zero concern to the folks here. If God forbid he loses and it's a stolen election with Hillary and Biden playing this little game, all bets are off. I already have my gun. Whatever the MAGAverse says, Trump needs to make up some ground here and fast. Without Florida's electoral votes, he's probably a one-term president. Polling suggests older voters, the state's most active voting bloc, have been leaving Trump over his handling of the virus, though the supporters willing to come out to a rally seemed as unconcerned by the polls as they are by a plague. Do you think that Trump will win this state right now? Yeah, it's gonna win. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a huge win. I, I firmly think it's gonna be a landslide. I just, I see way more support than I do negative support, so I, I, I hear all the polls and I see all the stuff on the news, but I don't see it in person. And when I come out here, it's a line a mile long, so I just don't, I don't see how it's gonna happen. He's not doing very well in polls nationally. He's yeah. a few points behind in Florida. I mean, they said that in 2016, too. So that's, that's all I can say. So you, you don't believe the polls? I don't believe the polls. I, like I said, I, I see it. I see the support. I don't, I don't believe it at all.